Okay, guys, uh, <clears throat> today's Monday. Uh, we are on lesson uh, 11. Um, it is solving equivalent ratio problems, okay? So we, we know what uh, equivalent ratios are. We should. We should have enough practice from the IXLs. Uh, <clears throat> so a chef is making pickles. He needs 15 gallons of vinegar. The store sells 2 gallons of vinegar for $3 and allows customers to buy any amount of vinegar. Decide whether each of the following ratios correctly represent the price of vinegar. Okay, so, um, a lot of numbers in here, a lot of words, um, <clears throat> but what we've got to pick out <clears throat> is all we need. We don't need a lot of this other fluff, okay? And so, so some of this stuff right here is fluff, and we don't need it, okay? So, <clears throat> some people call them kind of distractors, okay? So, all we need to know is two gallons for $3. See this 15 right here? It's irrelevant, okay? It doesn't it doesn't ask how much does he need to buy or how much does he got to buy to do this or do that, okay? It doesn't matter, okay? So two gallons for $3. <clears throat> Decide whether each of the following ratios correctly represent the price. So we've got to see if these ratios are equivalent to two gallons over $3, okay? <clears throat> That's all we're concerned with, okay? So, <clears throat> set up. We're gonna set up equivalent equivalent ratios. Okay. So this is your A. I'm gonna try to be able to write small enough to squeeze these in. I hope, hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll happen. Um, <clears throat> two gallons for three dollars. They're, they're saying four gallons for three dollars. Uh, well, we know to get from two to four, we gotta multiply by two, multiply by two, so that's not one, okay? That's not one. So we can go with B, okay? One gallon, a dollar fifty. So we got our given, okay? We're gonna put our given down there, two gallons, and what I mean by given is what that's what they give us in the beginning of their problem. Two gallons for three dollars. And we got to set it up. It says one gallon to $1.50. One to one fifty. And we know to get from two to one, you divide by two. And to get from three to one fifty, you divide by two. So that is a good one. Okay, B is a good one. Uh, let's go to C. Spur given down two gallons over three dollars equals, we're doing C right now, so that's a no, that's a yes. Uh, 30 gallons to $45. Let me label here. Okay, we know to get from two to 30, we multiply by 15. To get from three to 45, we know we multiply by 15, so that is a good one also, okay? All right, we're gonna do D right here. We're gonna try to squeeze her in here, okay? Uh, <clears throat> square and do our given two gallons over three dollars equals uh, D is two dollars to thirty gallon two dollars to thirty gallons is that right? <clears throat> two dollars to thirty gallons to get from two to fifteen we know we got to multiply by fifteen uh, and see that's not going if you multiply by fifteen you're not going to get two so that's a no go. All right now E. Put her given down two gallons, three dollars. Uh, and it's one dollar to two thirds of a gallon. Uh, two thirds of a gallon to one dollar. Okay, now a little bit trickier, okay? But not impossible, okay? We know to get from three to one, and the reason I'm going on the bottom this time instead of top, it's just I got friendlier numbers, okay? It's just three to one, it's just, just a lot easier to get there. We know we're going to divide by three. Now, we know that bottom part's right. Now, let's do, if we divide two by three, what are we gonna get? Mm, if you go by this way, I'm gonna show you a couple ways of doing it, and I'm gonna show you which one is actually the easiest way to do it. Uh, if it says two divided by three, some people are gonna go to this route, two divided by three, yada, 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 and you're gonna get six, six, and so on and so forth, okay? That, we're not gonna do that, okay? When it says two divided by three, we know from working and talking about math all year long, we know, we know, we know that we can rewrite it two 
divided by 3, okay? Which is exactly, what's it right there, okay? So E is a good one, okay? All right, so uh, make sure if you have any questions on this, you let me know. Um, if you have any questions on 10 or 9 that we did the other day, uh, let me know. Um, make sure you are progressing nicely on your IXLs. Make sure you read the uh, stream that I put out last night in the Google Classroom. You are to be on your IXLs and nobody else's, okay? Uh, I've changed passwords. Everybody's got a unique, different password than what you had. Um, and that is put through the stream so you know what that is, okay? So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, but check your Google, check your uh, classroom stream first before you're asking questions because your information is there, okay? All right, uh, if you have any questions about anything, let me know. I will be sending out some uh, self studies work. It's not complicated, but we will still need to be doing some of that kind of stuff. You can turn that in when we come back. We are not necessarily going to discuss a whole lot of self studies. Um, in our Google Meets, it's going to be main main focus is going to be math. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions, and I do need everybody to pretend not pretend. I need everybody to participate on the Google Meets. Okay, if you've got a buddy that hadn't been there, I'm going to start calling folks today, parents. Uh, but if you can text them, encourage them to show up. Uh, you will be given getting credit for uh, showing up in 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 the Google Meets. Okay. All right, guys, have a good day. Let me know if you have any questions.